This is exciting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to ask you a few questions, okay, Cynthia? Okay. So first, what do you love the most about science? I love that it is a very unique avenue to help people and to discover new knowledge and to um, better our society in a lot of different ways. What I love the most about science is that whatever field you're working in, you have the opportunity to learn something and you may be the first person to learn whatever it is you're working on and that's a pretty unique feeling. So you can take that, build it, grow with it, and share that with others. Coming from a Hispanic serving community, mm -hmm. it is, um, my research helps me be able to share my knowledge um, to my family, especially being um, the first female who is pursuing, in the family who is pursuing higher education. I do feel comfortable saying I am a scientist. <laughs> Just seeing that, I think that was, you know, about almost two years ago now and it's just incredible to see how much progress we both have made just seeing us here I know we're living in separate areas now but just at the time we both had that confidence to say that we were scientists and we've only gotten so much better from that from that moment so it's just so fun to watch that mm -hmm. and I'm happy that I can reflect back on it and see how happy we were to be in there talking about our, you know, fields and, and our family. I remember that's what I talked a lot about in my video. And I still continue that same thought process and that kind of outlook that I had about being a scientist then. And I still feel that same way now. So just seeing this, I feel so thankful that those feelings were captured and I'm happy to be doing the second interview to see that reaction and talk about how things have been going from that moment on so it just it makes me really happy to know that this has been like documented and it's it's incredible to see what all kinds of scientists look like i mean we all we're all so different so it's fun i think i definitely can agree with ayana it's a very rewarding experience and i feel so fortunate and thankful to have captured that moment. I feel like, we, hit, like Ayana said, we've come so far. It is interesting to think about how I've grown as a scientist and how my values back then, I can see them very much reflected in what I'm doing now, uh, which is really rewarding to see. And so I'm, I'm really happy that, that we're a part of this and it's been a great experience. I'm in my first year of a graduate program at Mayo Clinic, and so I see the importance of translational science and how that really is the driving force and the big motivation behind why we do translational science, why we do research. It's to help people and uh, advance knowledge about disease. And so I have a fun story to share. At uh, the time that this video, the first video was recorded, it was at that conference that we all met at the first time where I met a representative from the National Institutes of Health. And it was that application that I found out about to go work at the National Institutes of Health for the year after I graduated from the university. That's when it all started. And after that, at the time, of course, it was pre-pandemic. No one knew what was gonna be happening just a few months after that video was filmed. And at the time, uh, a few months later, I had the opportunity to get a position at the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases that's led by Dr. Fauci, who before, everything I 
had, I mean, most people had no idea who he was. And then he became just the leading figure and one of the leading figures of the country. I was there working in an infectious disease research laboratory. And at that time, it just felt just very incredible to be able to be part of one of the many teams all over the world that were, you know, just doing the work behind the scenes that a lot of times often goes unnoticed. And now I think just being in the scientific community, it's just, you know, people are noticing. And I'm happy to share that now. I am a first year medical student, so I have finally gotten this far in my scientific journey. I'm so, so thankful to be where I am today. And it just really took a lot of time, a lot of effort and a lot of support that I got from my peers. And, and I've just been so, so thankful to be here where I am now. So what's coming up next for me is, although I am here in school now, I still want to incorporate research in my future uh, career. So there are a lot of summer programs that I am hearing about and, you know, I'm considering a master's in public health and just never stopping that scientific uh, research aspect of like what I've grown up with. I just want to keep incorporating that. And although I have no specific project right now, I just know I'm very passionate about this work and I want to keep doing that when I get a chance to uh, as a medical student. And then upon graduation, I'll still keep doing it. You know, I'll keep working. I'll keep collaborating with people. I just think it's so beautiful to be in this kind of scientific community where collaboration is really so important for everyone's success. I just want to say congrats to Ayana because I, I didn't know that. So congrats. I know medical school was like a big dream for you. I'm in my first year of my graduate program here at Mayo Clinic. I definitely do want to take on a research project that very much reflects how research impacts patient care. And um, I think Mayo is such a great place to do that. I, I didn't get here by myself, it was like with a lot of help from my family and friends and mentors. And so um, I'm really excited about the future, ultimately be able to impact patient care. My confidence in my self-identity, like to even call myself a scientist has definitely grown. 